Hi, I'm James Warren from OA Systems, and today we're going to be having a look at the new user interface that comes with Dynamics 365 version 9.0 and above. So as you can see, there's a different design here. Uh, it looks very similar to the mobile app and is in fact the same user interface that's meant to work across the mobile app, tablet, and also the desktop going forward. Uh, so that does give you um, some different options than what you had with the other user interface. As you can see here, we've got uh, some charts and dashboards and the relationship assistant, um, which is your guide from the system proactively, uh, giving you some information about things like leads with no activity, um, cases that are coming closing soon and opportunities that are coming. And from here, you are able to snooze, dismiss, um, open or send an email about this directly from this user interface. On the left hand side, you can see our menu has moved over here. So rather than dropping down from the top of the screen, um, it comes out from the side. Uh, and there's your selection menu of um, the entities that you have in the system. Uh, we're going to go drop into accounts and I'll show you a few new things that you can do there. So as you can see, the new UI has a very familiar layout, um, the views that you're used to with the headers and the records underneath them. Um, most of the same controls at the top of the page, uh, but you have this new opportunity to open dashboards. So once you go into dashboards, you can see we have the layout of these different streams of information. So my active accounts, active accounts, inactive accounts, and all accounts. Um, and you do get to choose the layout of those that you're looking for. Um, from here, you have some controls over being able to go in and add new records, uh, delete and do a number of different controls based on uh, this option here. And also for the record themselves, you can drop down and see more information. Um, the really interesting part is when you add the visual filter. So this is where you get to have uh, more control over filtering. Uh, and in this case, say we want to go in and look at all Veronica's accounts that show up in the system. Um, that will reduce the number of records that are shown down here um, and give you the reset of the other charts that are showing in this view. You can also switch to a tile view, which gives you a numeric count. Uh, rather than open up um, the list of records um, and you can scroll through the accounts from here to find the one that you're looking for. So what we're going to do is go and jump over to an opportunity. So you'll see from our list here, we'll go in and choose uh, one that's currently open. And while that shows us all the information we're mostly used to, you'll see there is a slight design change in the process driven form. So we still have the stages of engagement that we're going through. We still have the timeline of how long we have been in that open stage. Uh, but what you do is you click on the activity stage and you can drop that down. And also we have the ability to be able to put it over to the right hand side of the screen. So as we're going through the different stages of engagement um, that can remain in our view. Also, if we want to go through the records that we have in the view that we've come from, you'll see we've got all opportunities here and are able to go through and select that. That selection criteria that we had, having the stages open on the right hand side of the screen will also continue to be there as we go into the different records. Um, the screen will lay out down the page um, to account for the reduced screen size that we've got there. Um, and as, as mentioned before, all the related records are still available uh, from the related option there. So that's the system that I'm showing you for now. Um, if you have any questions, obviously uh, contact us at OA Systems and keep an eye out for additional videos in the series.